What's going on guys? So today's video is to talk about a question that I get asked quite often and it's what is a better purchase for you, a travel trailer or a fifth wheel? If you're considering buying one or the other, you're going to want to watch this video. Travel trailers and fifth wheels share a lot of things in common, but at the same time, they are two distinctly different types of RVs. Most often than not, people who are looking for their very first RV will generally look at a travel trailer. And I think part of that reason is because when you see these massive fifth wheels on the lot, they have kind of an intimidation factor. You look at them and you go, man, I'm going to need a huge truck to tow that. I am going to be towing something that's much taller, generally much longer, and potentially much heavier than a travel trailer. So a lot of people start off with a travel trailer simply because it's a more comfortable buying experience for them. It's not as intimidating. The entire unit seems smaller. Overall, it seems as if you're not diving into a huge RV right off the bat and you can get started with something. So a lot of folks will start their entire search omitting fifth wheels, maybe walking through a few of them, and end up settling for travel trailers. Now, I don't think that that's a problem at all. I really think that there is a great fit for everybody with some type of RV that's out there, whether it's a travel trailer, whether it's a fifth wheel, whether it's a class A, B, or C motorhome, you're gonna find a floor plan that you'll like. What the differences ultimately come down to are, one, your tow vehicle, what you plan on towing your trailer with, two, what you plan on using your trailer for, three, how often you plan on spending time in your trailer as opposed to maybe out and about, and four, how comfortable you are with driving a larger truck and towing a larger trailer versus having something that might be a little bit more compact and lighter weight. Now, if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I believe there really aren't too many half-ton towable fifth wheels on the market. There are a very small few that are incredibly light, generally in the six, 7,000 pound range, but for the most part, I always say tow a fifth wheel with at least a three-quarter ton truck for your smaller fifth wheels, and for your medium and larger fifth wheels, try to get something like a dually, at minimum a 350, 3500 HD or 3500 series one ton single rear wheel truck. And of course, the reason why I say this is because fifth wheels tend to be much taller and you want that additional peace of mind that you have the stability, you have the braking, and you have the overall payload capacity to be able to support the additional weight that a fifth wheel will put on the back of your truck. Now, if you're shopping for one or the other, the first thing I wanna do is eliminate some of the preconceptions that you might have with a travel trailer and a fifth wheel in terms of towability. A fifth wheel will always tow better than a travel trailer. And I know this is my opinion, and this is something that I tell a lot of people, but the reason why is because the weight of the pin, which is the weight of that overhang pressing down on your truck is directly above the axles of the tow vehicle in most cases. There are some offset hitches that kind of place the weight behind it or even in front of it. But for the most part, the weight will be centered almost exactly above the rear axle. And by doing so, you almost always will eliminate sway. Now what you could do though, and intentionally though, is if you have a truck that does not have a firm enough suspension system to be able to support the weight of the pin, you could run into a scenario where you're compressing your springs too much and you pick up some really scary bounce, hop, or porpoising while you go over expansion joints, bumps, uneven activities in the road, changing lanes, things like that. Because you have to imagine, when you put a lot of weight upwards of 1,500 to 3,000 pounds or more worth of weight directly above your axle, most of the time the payload capacity of a truck is gonna be anywhere between about 1,200 pounds all the way up to 48, 4,900 pounds, depending on the type of truck you have. And if you're stressing that suspension out, it's gonna cause that suspension to move a lot. It's gonna put more wear and tear on your suspension, your frame, your shock absorbers, your springs, your brakes. It's gonna do a lot to definitely not give you the safest tow experience. That's one of the reasons why I talk about having a truck that is overkill for your towing application so you don't stress those components out nearly as much. 
Now, in terms of a travel trailer, you can definitely add too much tongue weight, especially unintentionally, by not calculating the accessories and the things that you bring with you and the weight and balance of the trailer that you have. And by doing so, you can easily turn a good towing experience into a scary towing experience quickly. With travel trailers, you have to be much more precise. You have to really use a weight distribution hitch anytime your trailer gets over about 3,500 pounds. And you really need to understand the dynamics of putting the weight behind the rear axle and how that can contribute to sway, how that can contribute to a different towing experience in terms of when trucks pass by you, when it's windy outside, when there's inclement weather, any type of scenario that can cause a hinge effect to where the trailer essentially wants to hinge against that tongue of the vehicle and cause the two vehicles, the trailer and the truck, to want to essentially sway back and forth or move. That is the instability that is much harder to control in a travel trailer versus a fifth wheel. In a fifth wheel, you're rarely ever going to have sway. The most I guess white knuckle moment you might have towing a fifth wheel is simply when it's windy outside, the amount of air that's pressing up against the side can sometimes cause instability and make the towing experience a little less comfortable. And one thing I forgot to mention, I don't want to make this video too long, is that when you're considering the different tow setups, there are hitches that can help mitigate some of those stressful moments with both setups. You can get something like a Hensley or a Pro Pride hitch on a travel trailer setup, which will virtually eliminate all sway, but you're gonna pay for that. It's gonna be upwards of $3,000 for that type of setup. Sometimes you can find them used, but it is definitely a more expensive setup. In terms of controlling sway, I generally recommend things like the equalizer hitch because I think it is a very affordably priced hitch for what it does and how well it works. And of course, there's other brands out there. Reese makes a dual cam setup that's also very effective. But a good quality weight distribution hitch that is set up very well can definitely improve your controllability as well as your confidence when towing. Same goes with fifth wheel hitches. There are fifth wheel hitches that give you extra shock absorption. There are fifth wheel hitches that give you the ability to really control movement of the hitch and the actual uh, kingpin assembly when you're towing. And by understanding these different types of hitches and what they can do for you, they can also eliminate some of those stressful moments when you're towing. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you again very soon.